Hey, it's Brandon from Creative Church Hacks, and yes, I am sitting on the floor. What I wanted to show you uh, was a little, I don't even know if you'd call it a lighting truss or, or, or what you would call it. Um, in our former facility, uh, when you came in the double doors, there was this big blank beige wall, uh, and so we decided we were going to uplight it with some of these uh, strip lights right here. Uh, and we found ourselves every week taking a volunteer and taking about 10 minutes of their time to make the same connections with the same fixtures over and over and over again. Uh, and so what we did was kind of like the lighting trust from one of our first videos in this series. Uh, we built a, a very similar thing out of, I think this is quarter inch bar stock. Um, and so what we did is was, was we, we built a frame that was just large enough uh, to house the lights and the power transformer that went for these particular lights. Now, if you buy some bar lights, uh, it, you know, like the I Your Life ones off of Amazon, you know, they may be, um, I, I think they're a hundred bucks and they don't require the transformers and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but we made, them, we made the center one big enough to hold that transformer for these particular lights and also our wireless DMX. Uh, and so they stayed connected. So what one of our volunteers could do is they could come in let me show you. So we hinged them on three separate sides. And so they could come in. So the unit looks like this. Uh, there are three of these bars in here. Uh, and then one, one folds out this way and the other folds out that way. Uh, whoops. And will allow you to make a straight line or whatever kind of configuration that you wanted to make uh, out of these. <clears throat> but it would allow a volunteer to come in, just plug them into the wall. When we fired up the computer uh, to control our lights, they automatically had DMX. Uh, and so it was one plug, the lights stayed connected together. Uh, and so this exponentially speeded up uh, some part of our setup, uh, especially involved uh, with lighting. So we took that big blank beige wall and were able to put some color on it so that when you came into the foyer of that particular facility, uh, there was something there uh, that kind of changed the environment because it was a very traditional kind of static older building and we were able to do something uh, a little less traditional in that space just by adding some lighting uh, and so this simplified that process immensely so again it's just quarter inch bar stock uh, and we welded on some hinges uh, here on the ends uh, and so each one of these components will, will flatten out and so if you fold out the other one that way uh, you can wind up with three bars <clears throat> straight across uh, and so even if you're like a mobile DJ or something and you frequent the same venue over and over again and you, you know okay I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna uplight this wall or I'm gonna uplight this uh, you could put three uh, maybe more I, I don't know for our context this is what worked best for us but you may could put a couple more together you wouldn't want to get it so heavy you couldn't move it um, but you could leave these connected together and then be able to just walk into that space unfold them push it up against the wall plug it in and you're ready to go uh, and so again, this was something that was really beneficial for us in our setup and our teardown time. Uh, I hope it maybe sparks an idea for you, something you can use to simplify your process so that you and your volunteers have more time to pour into the people uh, that are coming to your portable church. So I'm Brandon from Creative Church Hacks. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section below. It would help us a bunch. If you would like this video, leave us a comment, subscribe to our channel, let your friends know that we're here. Uh, and if you have any questions about this or about any of our other uh, carts or parts of our process, uh, you can leave them below and we'll be happy to answer them. I hope you're doing well and that God's blessing what you're doing. And I hope this helps you be creative in your context. We'll see you next time.